Texas is a historical term for guys that ran away in the early 1800s from the colonies and they ran away to Texas because they got in trouble with debtors or in, they had criminal activity and they ran away and they ended up getting their lives together, a lot of them uh, down in Texas, which is kind of what I did. I ran away from drugs and alcohol and all my personal problems, wound up in Texas and that's where I kind of, you know, got down to it and dealt with myself and uh, got my life back on track. So that was really what that song's about. It's about you know, I kind of found myself there in Texas. Yeah. 
name of the new album is called Gone to Texas. It's on our Roof Records. Started working on the idea about a year and a half ago. I wrote the uh, title track. I moved to Southeast Texas in about, uh, about 10 years ago from uh, running around, running homeless out on the roads. I ended up in Texas and I got my life together there and uh, wrote the song and kind of got the idea together for an album and uh, brought the band together, The Wheel, with Rob Lee on drums, Scott Sutherland on the bass guitar, Jimmy Carpenter on uh, saxophone and vocals. These are guys I'd, I played with over the years, maybe in my group or in different groups, and uh, really liked them playing, liked uh, the sound that, uh, that they had.
One of the things I'll tell you about the guys in the band, I mean, are that I recognize meeting these guys along the way, they like a big variety of music, as do I. So when I go to writing songs, it's not been uncommon before on my other albums where, you know, I've got different sounds or ideas, a little bit of country, a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of funk, a little bit of blues, you know. I, I like that to me, and maybe not even particular songs, maybe in one song, you know. To me, that's American music. My favorite artists are American music artists, you know. That's one of the things I love about Delbert McClinton is to me he epitomizes American music because he's all those things. And I've played with guys before, great musicians in the past, but they really, they kind of just like they like this, or they do this, or they, you know, and along the way I meet these guys, they're a lot like me. We all like a big, broad variety of music. And we want to play some different stuff, some different feels, some different styles. It makes it a lot more interesting for us to play. And uh, I think it, it opens up to now, we're not playing a style of music, you're just hearing Mike Zito and Mike Zito on the wheel. It's our style of music. Hopefully it just starts, you hear the influences, but eventually I hope that you hear me, you hear the band as, a, as its own sound, you know? Silly, I'll 
some of the songs on the album are very serious and, and uh, introspective and personal. And then some of them are just damn fun, man. You know, I mean, we, we play for the people we like to bring the party. And uh, I needed a good beat. I had a great idea for just a fun song, kind of James Brown, kind of, kind of the 70s Texas funk. And uh, that's what it's all about. Don't break a leg. The idea was to do an album that's kind of about where I live. I mean, I live in Southeast Texas. It's kind of about my own personal life, getting cleaned up and straightened out in Texas, and about the Gulf Coast and the sound of the music and uh, kind of incorporating that. So I was able to also invite uh, Sonny Landreth to come play on a track that was a couple hours from me, and Mr. Delver McClinton came in, and we did a, a good honky-tonk blues song together. So uh, we went to uh, Dockside Studios in Maurice, Louisiana, Mr. David Farrell engineered it, and uh, I produced this record myself. I brought the band in, and uh, we recorded this album all live, really not many overdubs, in about five days. I think the whole thing was mixed and completed in, in uh, just over seven days. I never knew a could be so cool. Head into like a freight train. Like a freight train Leave 
streets and feeling like a fool. Definitely, I want to make people happy. I want to. I, to me, listening to music should be fun. You know, I mean, I've been listening. I mean, I grew up where like you put the record on and it's like a big deal. You know, you get really excited to to go listen to this record uh, when I was a kid, and, and I'm still that way. And I, I hope that I make a record that that it, it because of the styles that it invites a lot of people that it, it brings happiness, joy, fun. You know. Uh, that people want to come out and have a really good time. Hopefully there's some music that, you know, I love music that moves people, that's emotional, that, that brings out an emotional side. And I like music that is just a damn good time. And I hope that's what they bring from this album, you know, because there's nothing more fun to me than being in a good mood and going like, I know exactly what record I want to listen to right now. Or I'm, you know, I'm missing home or whatever. I know exactly what song I want to hear right now. And, uh, it's hard for me to wrap my head around, but it's exciting when people tell me, your record is that record for me. So uh, I hope that people, you know, that they, they're, they feel good about it. They're excited to want to wanna listen to this music as much as we are to play it. <laughs>